Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Milk Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign, playing as a certain city in Nevada, or really nation. So, as we can see, historical AI focuses is off, and custom game rules, everything's set to default, so I won't know what's going to happen, just like you and me. But, we are going to start and play as New Reno. So, a couple of mods that we're using, Old World Blues, the Old World Blues mod compilation, player led peace conferences, the always great State Tracer tool mod, colored buttons and colored events. So, as you can tell from the thumbnail, which looks really cool, we are the biggest little city in the wasteland. So, before the atomic fire rained on from high, Reno was the biggest little city in the world, but now, now it might just be the biggest city in the wasteland to this day. The works and structures that survive the end of the world benefit us. And as you can tell from the title, if you haven't checked it out already, we are going down a certain path. Some might say a certain immortal path. Very, very cool. And if you can't tell what I'm saying, well, hopefully we'll know what path I'm going down towards by the end of this video. Regardless, let's... You know, we'll do one set. Let's do that. Okay, four, four research slots. Research speed. I love Ohm's Law, even though I don't really understand it whatsoever because I don't remember it. Anyways, industrial planning. Construction basics. Couple dudes. Now our infantry, they're only 10 combat width. That's not great. And if you take a look at our manpower. Whoa, that is not good either. All we need are guns, though. I want to really make sure we got enough guns, so put three right there. We're going to not use melee weaponry for now. I love dynamite. Dynamite is very, very useful. We grab some support equipment. We're going to grab some of those big old thick anti-tank rifles. I have never used scrap motorcycles in any of my campaigns yet. We're going to grab some saws because <clears throat> we may or may not need them. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge as time goes on. With a smile on my face. Cool. And this description is the same one that I just read from the focus. So we can do the sprawl survive, giving plenty of people... A place to lay low. It's only a thousand manpower. That's okay. Not bad. Load military outpost survived. Firearms for everyone, which is not bad. You get, or you can make infantry equipment a little bit faster and get two arms workshops. Or the casinos survived in a perfect condition. Perfect for business or good for business. You know, as a person who's been to Nevada, specifically Las Vegas, and I know this is Reno. I know this is Reno. If you give me some casino funding, ching, ching, man, give me that money. Give me some two civilian workshops. Mm hmm. Anyways, small time crime, small time crime in the wasteland. Not everything that happens in Rio happens because the men and women on top want it to be. It's a free thinking place filled with entrepreneurs who are willing to do just about anything for a handful of that awesome amount of caps. Very, very good. We can only get 1.25 political power day, which isn't too bad. That's pretty well above average. So, uh, this is pretty much the same thing, but let's see. Entrepreneurs who are willing to do just about anything for a handful of caps. Some do better than others, and some. Some are legacies, minor institutions that have changed hands a dozen of times but still operate. So, we have the new Reno Arms, spreading firepower to raiders across the decades. Four decades. That looks pretty good. This one is a chop shop. Gives you or helps you with vehicle technology, which is nice, but the way we're going, probably not. That's an interesting flag that they chose, or the picture they chose for new Reno. Hmm. I don't know if this person allowed gambling in this country. Oh, well. well. Who could forget the cat's paw? Oh, you'll only go for the ads? I love the war support. I really do. I love civilian workshops. Currently, we have a total of how many workshops? Five? Let's have a compromise. New Reno Arms. And we shall do what's the deal with New Reno? Reno. Our deal? Well, you know our deal. Living the life, living the dream, doing what you want, when you want, for as long as you can get away with it. Sex, drugs, rock and roll. What else is there that you can want in a wasteland like this? Come on, forget who you are, forget where you are, and then come and enjoy the party. No questions asked until the cops arrive. That's why you run away. Anyways, we need quite a bit more infantry equipment, which would be muy bueno. So, and this is the same description as before. We can get the uh, sexy time for deal one, druggy time for deal two, or rock and roll time for dr deal three. Even though I am a musician, I'd prefer rock and roll maybe. Uh, monthly population. Medical technology seems okay. Drugs are cool and all, but... Making babies sounds just a little bit more fun. Now, we can do t who's top dog, but you know what? I'm thinking we should go with an eventual army, not an American PMC. Maybe someday, but not today's not that day. An army? Sounds pretty nice. American military? All roads lead to Reno? I'm thinking we're going to go with who's the top dog. Everyone in Reno has been fighting for a piece of the pie for decades. Every one of the big families is looking to get up or get a leg up on the other to find a way to take control. But these days, only one of the families rules the streets. And unfortunately, that focus is a whole whopping 
seven days. I didn't realize it was seven days. I thought it was 16. Whoops. And I think it was Olympus Tribe, so... Everyone in Reno, da -da 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 -da. but these days only one of the families rules the streets, and you better remember it, or you're in for one heck of a vacation. Hey, bud, Salvatore, as if it were the bishops, Mordinos, controls the jet, they love drugs. But you know what? I'm thinking the rights have come far in the last few decades, and you might want to pay attention if you really want to make sure that you really go down this specific path. Look how fancy it is. I actually have a pipe. I've never smoked it. Anyways, um, if you really want to go down with this army here. Uh, calling in the family? Sure. Why not? Nothing bad could happen from that. So, of all the crime families of Reno, ours is the only true family by blood. Reno's a decrepit sinkhole and has swallowed one of our own whole. Though we were considered the weakest of the families under our leadership, Reno will prosper and most importantly be... <clears throat> Purified, yes, for better or for worse. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, and we have some dudes who supposedly follow the apocalypse. What a bunch of weirdos! Oh well, what can you do about it? And we're gonna give this guy inspirational just because he has minus minus twenty five percent leader experience gain, so we offset that by ten percent, which still sucks. Just saying. Let's go ahead and disable this. I, what I do like, oh, we can restore this here. Army Depot. We do start off with twelve hundred caps, so free arms workshop and radar station. Thank you. Oh, I'm not going to mess with this stuff. It really means nothing. Oh, here's what I want to say. Oh, hold on. We got 69. Political power, 70. We got some Golden Globes. Since they're founding in 2237, the Golden Globes, based out of New Reno, has brought joy and pleasure to thousands across the wasteland. Who can forget the Chosen One's own film, Vault 16? I don't know if I can say that. I don't know. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, <clears throat> man. Um, in some states, it's... I'm not going to go further than that. I'm not going to say yeah, Never mind. Never mind. Anyways, we're just calling in the family. Having a good time with them golden globes. God, I love golden globes. Anyways, construction basics. Very nice. Work as needed. Absolutely. This is new Reno's. We're going to work as needed. That fits us perfectly. Let's go and grab some organized agriculture, too. Wow, that takes forever. At least that's like 50, less than 50 days. This is over 120 days each. Jesus, that takes so long. Oh. But this is coming on very nicely. We're actually getting some anti-tank, which we honestly probably don't need for right now. But that's okay. There goes the Yakima Nation. We'll have enough infantry equipment soon. We need a good stockpile. If we take over enemy nations, we need a good stockpile. Even demo equipment. Uh, that's going to be really important for what I know what we have to do. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So how about we get Evangelical Church of New Reno? Constructing churches and schools across New Reno, or just Reno, will go a long way towards our dream of an idealistic town, no longer a city full of the worst scum of the wasteland. Dismantling some of the old families' casinos for our churches is also a fitting metaphor for our... <clears throat> Future, yes. Stability and research speed. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, what do we have here? Military theorists? We're not going to go conventional warfare. For good reason. I'll explain it to you guys in just a little bit. <clears throat> We're going to go grab funding the army first, though. Just because uh, we need it. Because we will not become rulers or Mordinos for a while. If ever. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, that being said, I will grab this person next, which... He does hurt us. Well, actually, I'll show you what this is about. Two-time, two-timing dealer, really hurts you. I don't care. Really kind of hurts you with uh, political power and damage garrisons. This is okay. Friend of the gun runners, I don't really care. Little Jesus, little Jesus. I'm not sure. Is that little Jesus? I want. I like little Jesus. Little Jesus seems more adorable than normal Jesus. Just saying, you know, infants, babies, probably a little bit more adorable. Not always though. Some sometimes they can be kind of ugly. But anyways, whatever. It's just an opinion. Anyways, uh, let's see. Cultural advisor, Mr. Bishop. Look, even though that's for stability, if you follow my channel, you know I love political power, PP. Pee -pee. And this guy's a chess master, so plus 25%. <clears throat> that sounds absolutely delicious. 25% more, and that's going to come in handy, especially because in the end, at the very least, we are going to restore the state of Nevada, and we get to core all states of Nevada. So our goal isn't to spend political power coring Nevadan territories. Maybe a few here and there, but my main goal is to core places outside Nevada like Oregon or Washington. So, Reno, speakeasies. Even the temperate people of our utopian new Reno need a place to <clears throat> relax. Secret trade and alcohol was overall right trade and led to our prominence as a family. So it only makes sense to build speakeasies across Reno for safe, responsible entertainment. We get better or more consumer goods and a whole whopping fat Thick, 3% more stability. Love it. Now, we want to keep an eye on a royal because they might take a path towards Klamath. I've played as a royal before. I have. Actually, a royal is extremely fun. 
Even though they are basically kind of overpowered. That's okay. And the Shi are going to die soon. That's fine with me. Whatever. Uh, they did get an eventual path to split Klamath or just take Klamath. I oh, there goes Carcass Walkers. I don't exactly remember where that was. Oh, New Reno Alliance. That's kind of cool. She was X. I called it. I think it's just on the left. North Defensive Pact. Arroyo. Oh, the Klamath. The so we'll get that one eventually. Hopefully. Wait, the Apostles become the puppet. They go to war and just split up. Uh, Klamath, maybe, because we get some free cords if they do that. That would be actually very, very nice. We're going to wait on some of this stuff. Let's go grab that, even though I said we were going to wait on stuff. Oh, well, I kind of lied. I didn't realize it. I didn't mean to. Crowd control. I love crowd control here. It's incredibly important and effective. Uh, grab that, dude. First, Prowling Maniac. Oh, he's skilled. That helps offset uh, Marston, too. That's actually really nice. Really, really nice. Uh, anything unique, different? Nope. He's just a smooth talker. Man, I wish I was a smooth talker. That'd be so cool. Thank you. Are you sure we lose 10% stability? But well, we now get plus 0.5 more political power-ish, roughly. So I think it was worth it. I think that was worth it. And the Warren is looking nice and thick. Now, the reason I'm bringing up the Warren is because uh, they might be important for uh, <clears throat> later on. Seed selection, very cool, very cool. You know what? Mm hmm... Let's go with the land auction first. We're going to go with asymmetric warfare in this campaign, just because of the way we are headed towards. Speakeasy is good. How about get a police department? It's always good to have police, right? The sinful wasters of Reno haven't taken to our rule well, but through a contact of Christopher Wrights, we have a foolproof plan. Completely foolproof. A police department made up of FEV-enhanced superhumans would certainly be able to enforce law and order even in Reno, which we get less division training time, and less damage to garrisons, and we get four units of police will join our army. Nothing bad could ever happen from that if we use <clears throat> superhumans that were dunked in FEV. Nothing would ever happen. Oh, god dang it, they only took Medford. Because when Arroyo does their, like, focus tree, I'm using the mod compilation, like I said earlier, if they, when they do their focus tree, they, you get an option to maybe split Klamath with New Reno in literally half. So, I was hoping they would take that path, but unfortunately, they have chosen <clears throat> poorly, as some might say. Yes, they have chosen quite poorly. Unfortunate, I know. Quite unfortunate. But that's okay. They only took this part, and that's probably the most worthless part here. They don't have any resources. Every other part of Klamath has resources, so... They really didn't get much from that, which was kind of a waste. That was honestly really quite a waste. Oh, well. The Brotherhood is doing pretty well in the north. We got a little bit more of this. Let's see. I really don't mind getting some more research speed. We could probably honestly use it. You got a little bit of a combat language here going. Nice. Grab some of that. And we're going to grab some of that. Thank you. What is next? I think we're going to go with... Not military. There's Arroyo and the Apostles. Cool. Arroyo and the Apostles. I don't know why, but that sounds like a musical to me. Arroyo and the Apostles. That sounds like a fun musical. Wow, the Apostles are not taking Arroyo's crap. They are splitting them. Holy crud. They... Okay, Arroyo. Okay. You get what you asked for, and hey, look at this. E squadrons? People? Or superhuman? FEV superhumans? Under Blaze Kim? Not bad. Oh, man, this person really does not use that many supplies. And he's also... Kim? Oh, hold on. Blaze Kim. Is Blaze male or female? Because Kim could be Korean for a name. I don't know. Whatever. Cool. And let's immediately go Merc Military. So, Reno has no standing fighting force. Unless you consider the mobsters of the individual families instead. They must rely on mercenaries as their armies. The vast wealth of Reno, I love wealth, means their Merc's contracts last very long, however. And we get a couple, just a little bit more army XP that we could actually really, really use. You know what? I'm feeling like we need to spend a few caps here and there. So how about you? Me? We get a few dudes. We get the art of haggling. We get some reference manuals for some good pleasure reading? Yeah, that sounded weird. Um, but more importantly, we do... Oh, we can do that. We can get more basic mail open. Oh, I forget. What was I doing? Oh, I can buy, I can buy drugs. That's right. Oh, yeah, I can buy drugs. I I wasn't going to buy slaves originally. Um, begin a scavenging program. We could do that. I'll be honest. I totally blanked on what I was going to say. Hmm. I don't want to use the two civilian factories for now. I forget what I was going to use my money for. God dang it. My mind has just gone away. Don't ask me where it went, because I don't know. 
Cool. Now we can grab this. Local workspaces and resistors. I love resistors. Mm -hmm. We're doing that. Let's... Efficiency cap. <clears throat> Sounds pretty nice. Sounds pretty nice. We need to keep at least 500 for uh, the next focus, though. Be, uh, well, one of the next focuses. It doesn't have to be the next immediate one. Yakuza territory support the rabble? What a shame. They've got to be taken out. Major businesses. I usually choose Freeman's Fixtures. I will probably choose that one again right now. But... You know what? Let's choose that one for now. Just because it's so good. And then I'm going to raise my conscription level just because... 2,500 men, while well, it seems like a lot, it really ain't. It really ain't a lot for what it is. Oh yeah, so are these considered the 16 combat width? That's not bad. Army's not looking too bad. Let's actually take a look at these. Oh, actually, you know what? Just because we're here, you do that. Thank you. Uh, Merc military, good. Uh, unique mercenaries? Yeah, sure, the leaders of New Reno, or the Reno families, have their own special contacts in the mercenary world, and some mercenary armies are more disposed to offer contracts to them. These unique mercenaries often tailored to the specific needs of their family's leader. Ah, double bonus for land doctrine? Beautiful. Let's double check this. So, we got some super mutant police. Good guys, good guys. These are considered, though, special forces battalions, and these are just super mutants. Which kind of sucks. Why are super mutants considered special forces? I don't understand why. But I guess you don't want to use it too much. That put us over force limits. That's okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I really like super mutants. I wonder if we can make them any stronger. Fire teams. Actually, we already have fire teams unlocked, don't we? Yeah, we do have that. We have dynamite, uh, saws. We also have anti-tank rifles. Uh, that doesn't give you any more soft attack. These do. I really don't care about using this. I think it's more HP, logistics. Do we actually have logistics? We already have logistics. Oh. We're kind of good. We're going to save our army XP for now, though. We're going to save it for now. We're going to need them for later. Yeah, definitely for later. How many people do we get a month? Seven? That's... Not really a ton. Whatever, you know. Excuse me, game. Please pause. We got some smoke signals. And eh, we went over a day, but whatever. Let's go ahead and keep going down our uh, land auction and go with foraging. I love foraging, because if we forage, we might be able to eat. There's no guarantee of eating in the wasteland. Please, Kim. Inspirational. Marston, you're a little disappointing. We have 17 army XP. But it is we get more daily army speed, which will come in handy. Desert Rangers are looking pretty thick, as well as the Apostles of Troll Warren are doing okay. Even though they have gotten encircled. I kind of hope they are successful. That's one of the few rare times I'm going to say in this campaign, or in any of my campaigns, where I want the Troll Warren to do very well. But you know what? We already have super mutant FEV police guarding our streets. What if we just asked Thrad's Immortal? Or use Thrad's Immortals? So, led by Thrad the Immortal, a cunning ex-leader in the Master's Army, the Immortals are a band of super mutant mercenaries, undoubtedly one of the most formidable and infamous forces available for hire in the Wasteland. Their allegiance is <clears throat> sort of dubious. We get Thrad, get two of his units, and we get much faster land doctrine research times. Now, we're going to lose 3% construction speeds, 3% here, but 2% more manpower. Recruitable population. For manpower. Nice. Vault City is being very aggressive. Oh, did they free that? Nope. They got their stolen circle. That's not good. That was good that. Thank you. And Vault City is fighting the Cyclops tribe. Oh, Lynette. I am interested in Lynette. Yeah. Hmm. 19. Cool. Automation. Is that... Yeah, automation. I mean, actually, maybe I should not research that just because uh, we probably would have gotten there eventually anyways. Oh, well, whatever. Local workspace is good. Go and grab this, too. Nice. we have another one? No, we don't. Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Good. Just go ahead and train them up. Make them a little better. You know, these guys are only 10 combat width. They're not that great. Troll Warren is looking very nice. Incredibly nice. I love Threads Immortals. Western Brotherhood annexed Umbra as well. The 80s are trying to kill off the Ruby Valley Refuge. You know, it might not always be good to attack a refuge. Especially refugees. That doesn't seem like you should be doing that. But you know what? Some people do it, and they have a good time. Who am I to say? Let's see. Motorized. I don't believe in motorized. I've never even used motorized in Old World Blues. In regular v Hoi 4, yes. In Old World Blues, never. At least that's until all. I probably play the 80s. So. Can I throw one more on here? No, that sucks. Encoded signals, that's fine. 0.77 is just a little bit too much. Go and grab that. Thank you. 
technology, agricultural experts. Who do we grab? Minus 3% recruitable population is just not worth it at all. Just not worth it. Tim's tanks, Angody armor, Wheel Mother's garage. How about we do caps for loyalty? So, though many say mercenaries' allegiances are fragile best, caps are the greatest motivator for many living in the wasteland. And we have lots of it. Yes, we lose 500 caps, maybe. And we get more division defense on core territory, which would be very nice. You know what? Make your own army for now. Welcome, Thrad. Level 4 general. Four lo level 4 attack. Inspirational as well. Um, organization loss. Max unit. Yeah, definitely. As much as I love Animal Friend, and I am a friend of animals, I think this is for the best. Cool. And you know what? Just in case, let's make sure that we set everyone to aggressive. Yeah, just sometimes I might forget to do that. Oh, Thrad, do you have anything else? Gun nut. Infantry. Wait, it's only 3%? That, did they nerf it at one point? I thought it was, that was more than just 3%, but okay, whatever. Whatever, you know, whatever. All right, 150, not bad, not bad. We can't go here yet, that's okay. Yeah, that's just the way it's looking at. We really can't do anything here until we get more of our focus redone, especially with Karm the Brilliant. Not bad. Mi military staff, Thread the Immortal. Hmm, you know what? We can't choose anyone else. <laughs> Sergeant Granite. I love Sergeant Granite, but we can't go that way. Oh, that's not too bad. Colonel Jalabert. Jalabert. Tobias Halvorsen. Well, let's go with Thrad. Thrad doesn't seem like he'd ever do anything wrong against us, as long as we pay him handsomely enough, right? He would never hurt us. Never. Let's go and do that. You're going to need a lot of this. All right, go there. There you go. Warrior training. Very nice. Throw the infantry right there. Warrior training is very good. And I don't want to ever forget about doing... Gliders! Gliders are very, very important to the success of New Reno. Or really anyone. And Vault City is winning its war. Hmm. Alright, whatever. How about military council funding? We did lose the 500 cap. So, in an almost unprecedented act, we can formalize a council of mobsters devoted entirely to arranging military actions. Among the mobster bodyguards and mercenary armies we have on contract. 3% more research speed sounds muy bueno to me. Quite muy bueno. Give me one moment, please. My apologies, I thought my cat was, uh, outside. But, he is not outside my room right now, Binky. He is hanging out on the floor. Cool. Foraging. I love foraging. How about we now, though, get improvised obstructions. More entrenchment and 5% more soft attack. 5% is okay. I prefer 10 or 20% more soft attack. I think that's just better overall. Clay working, cool. Get some plant cultivation. And we get even more of the part. Ah, yes. I love help. That's such a free civilian factor. I love it so much. For 100 days, in 100 days, you get a free civilian factory. It's not much, but when you add it on and on and on as you're making more, it's just, it's so nice. It's just like, <sighs> you spend a little political power and you get a free factory. That's just, it's cheap. I love it. It's so cheap. 150. Now, what do we spend on? We love drugs here. We love chems. Indentured servitude. That's okay. We here might eventually go with <clears throat> Slavers of the Wastes. Maybe. Well, maybe we can. Maybe we won't be able to. Rely on slaves. Deposit, depositic slavers. Not bad. Not bad. Interesting. Go ahead and grab the next one. That's totally fine with me. Gliders. Yes, please. Cool. Motorized flight. Keep one on that group. Yeah, I could go to the next level as well. Mm. We lose at 3% more construction speed, which 3% honestly isn't that much. Hmm. Cool, but let's do this. As, long, as much as I love Enclave Technicians, mutant technicians are where it's at. And to this military council, we could add a super mutant who was once a general in the Master's Army, whose great experience in the Wasteland Warfare would revolutionize our council. Absolutely, and there would be zero downsides. No downsides to talk about. None whatsoever. Hey, look at this. Ooh, we can go there. I love the 5% more construction speed. You know, indentured servitude, why does that get 5% more construction speed compared to slaves? Do, do slaves not give you bonuses to building things? And yeah, there goes glory. We could outlaw slavery, but <clears throat> that's not going to be a good look for us. Oh, there goes troll, troll war, and they're still fighting some more people now. Alright, so be it. So be it. Yeah, dam more damage to garrisons? That is just a big N-O in my book, man. That is just no, 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 no. I really don't want to lose 3% more construction speed, but it's only 3%. Uh, 
probably be, I probably won't even use any of this stuff. But yeah, that's pretty bad. That's not great. This isn't bad though. Oh, great cons, cool. Um, air equipment technology. You know what? I think that's worth doing since we're going to be focusing on close air support probably. Probably. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Infantry equipment, not bad. Support equipment is looking pretty good. Oh, I can't even. Oh, threads and mortals. They have. Ooh, chems. Fire teams. Maintenance. But we can't edit his template, which is a little disappointing, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and grab. Yeah, dogs. Oh, we just lost all our army XP. That sucks. Yeah, I, I, I want to save my stuff here, though. Just a little bit more. Focus on the internal sphere. I wish you could get more stuff. I love restoring the state of Nevada. Love it. Nothing could ever go wrong if we employ only super mutants to lead the defense of our city. Nothing ever goes wrong. And that's totally why I'm totally using Wasteland Tactics because it totally doesn't fit what direction I'm going to go for in this campaign. Totally not because... Oh no! Rise of the Warlord! The bumbling criminal lords of Reno are no more. Thrad reigns supreme here as do his brothers. <clears throat> Hundreds of mutants, if not thousands, have flocked to New Reno. In the past months and the night before last, they rose up in an act of supreme and overwhelming violence, slaughtering all who would challenge them while also stringing up and publicly executing each of the family heads. God dang. Wright was the last one to die, horrified with what he had spawned. It is now the warlord Thrad that rules Reno. Dozens of citizens are dragged away each hour and forcibly dumped into FEV, even as more and more mutants from across the wasteland rally to his call. His goal is simple, his words true. Thrad will avenge the master. He will rekindle his project and save the mutant race. And who stand between him and Mariposa has surrendered their lives. So, cool, we create our own faction. Politics change. And I love that legion. What a handsome fellow. And we get super mutant behemoths. And, oh, super mutant civilization. That might not be bueno for us. Oh, it will be bueno for us because we're still civilized. Units, super mutant civilization. Oh, infantry defense goes down by 20% as well. Soft attack. Oh, that not bueno. Super mutant auxiliaries. Let's go. We got uh, behemoths, which I love behemoths so much. Oh, they actually have better fort attack. I didn't realize that. Anything else down here? Not really. Cool. Ah, so now here are the super mutant divisions. They're 10 combat width. Okay. Alright, so if that's the case, we're going to stop making these guys. Thank you for playing. I want to train super mutant divisions, please. We can't train anymore because, well... Oh, so these are considered special forces. That is interesting. That is very, very interesting. But, you know, that's okay with me. Thrad's army. Non-core manpower, plus 20%. Master's new army, huh? Now, I've completely ignored all of this. And I've ex completely ignored expansionism as well. C calling the savages? Let's do that. Let's at least go to war soon-ish. Sure, Reno's the biggest little city in the world, but why well, confine ourselves to a little city? We are a big power in the wastes, and it's time that that was recognized. Why not expand our borders a, a little? A little. Hey, and we become a major power, Lord of the Wastes. No mutants allowed with no normies. Mr. Bishop. Oh, we lost the political power. Darn it. But we got more stability back, which is okay. Hey, look at this. No normies. Plus, more organization, less recruitable population factor, normies allowed? No. Ah, uh, Rhonda, Tabitha, yes. Huh? Bunch of dum dums at New Reno? I love it. And if that's the case, I'm gonna position you guys right here. That'd be cool. Uh, actually, could I just convert you guys immediately to Super Mew Divisions? Yeah, just go ahead and convert. I'm not sure if that was a good idea or not. They have no armor, though. Profits from the drug trade? Hey! You know what? Jet, buff out Psycho, Mentes, and even go to Mary Jane are making killing, literally, for some people. But for every person whose life is ruined by narcotics, it's the person who sold them the drugs that did them in. We're able to profit from this lucrative trade and can use the profits to fund our armies, which is always a good thing. You know what? Don't do drugs, everyone. Don't do drugs. You might consider selling them, but just don't do drugs, okay? Cool. Oh, prioritize hygiene. Oh, at least we got some of this. Um, you know what? Do that one. I don't mind that one. Yeah. You know what it's time for? Mm, no normies. But we'll accept some normies to work on stuff. That's how much we love normies. Cool. Cool. Expansionism would be very nice to have. Do we need to expand anything here? Yes. Military high. Oh, yes. Military high command. More attack, less defense. Less supply consumption. Less damage to garrisons. More research speed, planning speed, and... Oh, that's not bad. Warmonger. Less for Orgo's time. Ancient Tactician. It's not bad. 
Oh man, do we get? Ooh, civilian factory construction speed. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, look at that. Less non core manpower. Less supply consumption. A slave master. Sleeping bastard. Oh my goodness. We have so many options. I love it. At least more options than before. Iron Alliance. I like this one. I just like building stuff like that. But you know what? Minus 10% defense. That's not great, but. <clears throat> 20%, man. 20 fat percentage. And we're going to go with Old Soldier. No, Brains and Brawn. No. Warmonger. Just because we can go to war faster. It, that's just. You have to do that. Which would be great. And let's finish up one more focus before we end the episode. We're still building civilian factories, which is okay. You guys are almost done training. We got a couple trained manga rolls. We'll get, get some recon support. We're going to need some recon for these guys. Uh, super immune divisions. We don't have enough to put on here, but I'm going to throw some demo teams on here. Uh, actually, do... I don't think these guys have armor. Yeah, they don't. Slap attack is 45. Hey, the climate deal has been bypassed. Expansionism, public projects. That's a lot to say. Culling the savages will be next, of course. So, and we can't do that one because we got caps from that. Maybe some more political power, maybe? Cool. To our north, the savage antelope tribe drive prosperity prices down and threaten our citizens. How is anyone supposed to run a business with these tribals sticking up the place? We should drive them out. And we shall finish this with a new research. Cool. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you are new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow as we will go head north and take out the antelope tribes. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.